over users Alex here with Vray Guide and today we're gonna check how fast is our hardware with Vray Benchmark. There's a new Vray Benchmark that came out for Vray Next and it's a little app that you can download. You don't have to have Vray. You just uh, gotta download it and it will run a simulation of interior and exterior scene in order to see what works better and how fast it works. You know that Vray Next is a hybrid rendering engine it uses cpu and gpu in combination and it gets all the best resources out of those in order to generate your render okay so we can also see how it performs and compares to other computers and we can have a bunch of uh, graphic cards if you have a couple of graphic cards connected together you can select all of them in order to see how it performs all right so let's click right here on this icon and go and download the hotfix 4 for the benchmark um, if you have previous vray 3.6 i think there is a previous versions it's completely free it just uh, gives you an idea of how fast your cpu versus your gpu uh, on your machine so after downloading it let's double click it and launch that app and um, we can run the test click agree and here we get one minute so let's start from exterior scene as you can see we're using my intel core i7 8750h cpu it's uh, 12 cpus 2.2 gigahertz and those are overclocked so Alienware did pretty good job with those uh, CPU and hardware overclocking. It's something that has been set up automatically with this laptop. Uh, again, it's a gaming machine. It's not a rendering machine, so I'm not expecting any crazy results. But uh, my GPU here, I'm using NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 with eight uh, gigs of RAM. So that was pretty handy. Uh, with the new V-Ray when I started using GPU in order to render animations with my water effects and fire effects and uh, the cool thing about it when you're rendering with GPU is that you can limit this you can say render as much as you can in five minutes even though the render as you can see here was a little bit grainy we have uh, in the new V-Ray Update 2, we have a new NVIDIA AI denoiser, which works amazingly with those uh, grainy areas. With this little noise that's been here, we can leave it like that and it will go and polish it and make it look nice and clean. So that's a very cool update that came with V-Ray Next 2.0 update. And uh, if you still haven't installed it, go ahead and do it. So guys as you can see here we're testing both of them because V-Ray Next is a hybrid so it will use both of them and then it will compare them uh, to other computers and other hardware so this laptop is not a rendering machine but it can perform pretty good with virtual reality and with uh, GPU render as well as I mentioned before okay so here we're done with our interior render two renders are done each had one minute to perform and now we can submit our score we can also tell here if we're using some overclocking or liquid cooling system so let's just click to submit the score and go to see our results so this is our benchmark score we can see that we're using 12 processors here and one nvidia card that's the version of our driver so on the cpu here uh, 5000 out of 67 here and 26 times slower on the gpu side we are 172 from 3000 which is not bad at all and uh, if you click here we can see that other results in compared to uh, my cpus and compared to my graphic card we can see also other results of other graphic cards and their uh, placement their score so uh, our score is not that bad all right 
but uh, it's definitely cannot compare to RTX 2080 Ti with with amazing 12 gigs of RAM. Those are the most crazy cards right now on the market that can give you amazing results if you're playing games or having virtual reality scenes. Okay, so go ahead, download this, check how fast is your hardware in compared to other computers, how fast is your CPU and GPU with V-Rate benchmark.